Yeah, but we're alive, bro. You ready? All right, let's do it. You want to start us off? Okay. My name is Edward Harris. My name is Edward Harris. And I don't know what to say, Daddy. Ah, it's okay. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Everything Vegan. You heard it from the chef himself. His name is Edward Harris. My name is Ed Harris. And today, all right, we are tag teaming to show you a delicious must have. You know, we're building the arsenal, right? If you notice, we've done mayonnaise, we did butter a couple of days ago, and now we're doing caramel sauce. These are some staples that just make sense when you are being plant based, and they just give it gives you the ability to recreate things that you might normally have been used to, you know, before you decided to let go of dairy. All right. So I have eight tablespoons of nonstick butter here. I'm going to put that into the pan. I'm going to turn this on, right? So it can melt. Okay. Looks good. All right. So we have our butter. We're going to wait till that melts a little bit. Then we're going to add in our sugar. Now, caramel sauce, what is caramel sauce? Like, for instance, if you went to a coffee beverage place and you wanted to order caramel, more than likely it's going to have some kind of dairy in it, right? Either heavy cream, milk, or butter, right? But there are some vanilla and caramel syrups you can get that are 100% vegan, all right? So you just have to pay attention, you know, and then just ask as well, all right? So now that we have our sugar in here, I'm going to crank this up, right? Let's go all the way. Why not? I'm not sure what's going on with our screen. It hasn't showed that we've put anything into the pan. I'm not Wait, sure that's why. Crazy. Is it? The most important thing is we got this one, right? So I'll turn this a little bit this way so at least you kind of see. Yeah, there we go. Right? And we don't need that. Yeah, for now. Oh, now it has the butter in. All right, I guess we'll have a delayed situation going on over there. Not to worry. We keep rolling. You know what I mean? We just keep doing what we do. So with caramel, you can add sea salt and make it a salted caramel. Right. Um, but just remember, if you're using a salted butter, then you already have salt in your caramel. So you want to make sure that you pay attention to that. So, you know, and we want to make sure that we're not using too much salt. We're not cooking with too much salt anyway. So we'll leave the salt out for now. All right. Our butter and sugar is looking very nice. So, Ed, you want to add the milk? So we are using, hold on, we're using 100% coconut milk. And we're using a full fat coconut milk, a milk that's just delicious all around. Daddy, all right. Yes. With no separation. So Ed, gently pour this into there, please. You got it? You sure? All right, go ahead. Careful. You got it. You got it. You got it. Yes. Look at the steady hands. Beautiful, beautiful. Can you put it in the sink for me, please? Thank you, sir. So now, there are levels to making a caramel sauce, right? One, depending on how you want your caramel to look, the color, you might caramelize just the sugar first and then add your milk or your cream and bring it up to a boil. If you want it a little bit lighter, then you would do it this way. I just kind of bring everything together and don't have it cooking for too long, all right? But super important, when you are adding, when you're making your caramel sauce, I like vanilla in my caramel sauce and not just any vanilla, right? We are using vanilla bean paste, right? And you might say, what is vanilla bean paste? So vanilla comes from a bean, a pod, and they split it open and there are multiple seeds, very tiny, look like cracked black pepper. That's where the vanilla actually comes from. So sometimes you can buy just the seeds and I love that because it's the equivalent to getting a fresh, Vanilla pod, careful, stick to the side, buddy. Getting a pod 
and splitting it and scraping out the seeds. That flavor, no vanilla essence can even replicate that flavor. Like it's completely different and really amazing. So we're gonna just let this reduce just for a little bit. That's so bubbly. It is bubbly, right? But that's what we want. So we're gonna just put it on medium and just let it do its thing, right? And this is how we're building our caramel, right? This is just one way. You know, you're gonna see people do it different ways. You know, some people might only use two ingredients. Some people might use three. It really just depends on what you're looking for out of your caramel sauce, right, Ed? Yes. Sir. What are we gonna eat this caramel sauce with? Um, there you go. What else can we eat it with? Um, what about um, what is it? Uh, we can eat it. Hmm. Tell me, you got it. Think of it. What goes good with caramel? Ice cream. Ice cream. Um, right? Like waffles. Yeah, waffles. You already said pancakes. Mm, like and we could put it even in a drink. Yes. Right? Make a smoothie that. and then just drizzle it in the cup too. Oh yeah, like a, a, a latte. Like a latte? Yeah. <laughs> yes, like a latte. You got it. All right. We're almost there. And how do you know when your caramel is ready? I'm glad you asked that question. I'm glad you asked that question. I will show you. All right. And like I said, it really depends on what you want out of your caramel sauce. Do you want it to be nice and pourable and loose? Then you don't let it reduce so long. But if you want like a syrup, then you're going to reduce this a little bit more. And then I would take it a step even further by adding a thickening agent, right? And what that would be, you can use different kinds of powders, xanthan, agar agar, depending on what stage it's in. Are you introducing it hot or cold? You can add sea moss, all right, pureed sea moss. There are many things. You can even sprinkle in a little bit of almond flour or even regular flour. That will work with this as well and help with the thickening. So it really just depends, like I said, on what you want to get out of your caramel. Right? Yeah, so we need to reduce it a little bit more because it's it's nice here as is, but it's too thin for me. So we're gonna just let it cook down a little bit more. All right, so we want we're looking for the caramel to pretty much coat the spoon. So that way when we run our fingers, it's not gonna keep running down. But just by the look of this alone, I can tell that it definitely still needs to reduce some more. The other thing I was gonna say is when you're adding vanilla, you never want to add the vanilla in the beginning. That's why it's to the side. We're going to add the vanilla once we turn the fire off, and this is not reducing anymore, okay? This keeps the integrity of the vanilla. It also keeps the flavor really nice and potent. Any questions, young chef? No, sir. No, sir. All right. Thanks for being here today. You're this was your idea, right? It was totally your idea. Tell the people why you wanted us to make caramel sauce today. I, I just don't know. It just popped up in my head. It just popped into your head? Yeah. I just felt like making it. You know, you're absolutely right, Ed. We haven't done too many sweet things on Kitsch. I so have an idea for your next cook. What's that? You can make Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies. Hmm. Interesting. I might have to take you up on that, Ed. I might have to take you up on that. Okay, we're getting a little thick. So one thing you want to pay attention to is if you're not stirring it, occasionally it's going to start settling and getting thick on the bottom. All right, so just be mindful of that. So, you know, a couple minutes, give it a stir. Check. Not there yet, but we're getting there. You know, so we're talking about letting this reduce for about 10 minutes or so. You know what I mean? And remember, when it cools down, it will also get a little thicker. All right, so these are things that you wanna remember 
but this beautiful color like how easy is that this is caramel sauce one two three right nice coconut milk works really well and what can i say that it's gonna be delicioso right ed yeah Hi, Emma. How are ya? Okay, we're almost there, people. Look at that. It's getting thick. We're almost there. Mm. Never, ever taste caramel immediately after taking a spoon. Like, you want it to cool down because consider this molten lava. You eat you try to eat this because you're not going to eat it. You try to eat this or it gets on your skin. If it gets on your skin, it will melt your skin off. This it is, will? yes, it will because it's happened to me before many times it, yeah. cooking in the restaurant. Um, hot syrup on my hands, wherever the syrup dropped, that skin was gone, right? And then if you try to eat this, it will scorch your mouth to the point where your taste buds they're on vacation for at least a week. They're not functioning. You can feel it burn. It's crazy. All right? But I think, Ed, our caramel is done, bro. Oh. Yes, it is ready. Let's turn this off. Let's turn this off. Edward, we have just made caramel sauce. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. We made caramel. All right, let, let's bring the camera a little closer to the piece. Can we add the Not yet. Pieces? And you're absolutely right on time with that, Ed. See, I was getting so excited, I forgot to add the vanilla. But I just wanted to show the people this beautiful caramel sauce that we made. Like, look at this. You hear that sound? That's the viscosity. And literally, it's the sound of how thick the liquid is, right? If you pour water, it doesn't sound heavy, like doesn't sound thick, right? So the thicker your sauce is, that's what we're looking for. So the viscosity right here. Mm. So good. All right, Ed, I'm getting excited. We're doing one. Hold it. Hold it, sir. Sir. Uh, just, just, just ran up there with it, didn't you? All right, go ahead. Yes, this is our vanilla paste, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm telling you, Should look, I close it? I mean, I'm gonna put it so you can see. Mm, you can't really see it, but yes, you can close that for me. It's all good, Evan Harris. I appreciate it. Yes, it smells so good. All right, so no, no, because this is hot. And oh, okay, trust me, I, I don't want you to get burned. Thank you for understanding it. I appreciate it. Even the color has set and looked really nice. It's now a deeper caramel color, which is perfect because we did make caramel. You know, also the vanilla bean added to that color as well. But this smells amazing, right? It looks amazing. Now we're going to transfer this to our jar, right? Because this is a very hot liquid and we want to put it into something that is going to hold and not kind of bend out of shape, so we don't want to put it in plastic. All right, so glass container, preferably, and then it looks better. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Look at that right there, baby boy. Uh -huh. You guys are like, Dad, no, you didn't just say that. I sure did. I sure did. It's beautiful, you know, when you have kids, you know, you get to embarrass them very easily by doing things that you normally do, you know, but you know, they're kids, so they get embarrassed. Like singing, dooby dooby doo. You should see them right now behind the screen. <laughs> I'm not even embarrassed at all. Good. You're used to it <laughs> because you're young. But my oldest who hung out with me yesterday, she's embarrassed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Emma, what's up, girl? Look at that. We make caramel, sweet. Oh, my goodness. Now, this is what I was talking about, 
right? In terms of the viscosity, in terms of the thickness, in terms of the readiness. You see the back of the spoon? We'll even do inside the spoon. Can I try? Yes, you can. One second, though. So you see, whatever's on top is now running down. That line straight across stays there, right? That's what you want. And hoo -hoo -hoo, it tastes so good. Okay, you can bite it off. Mmm, mm, this is yummy. It's good, right? Yeah. Mmm. All right. I know you want the spoon or you want the pot. Here you go. You. You're welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me. You're welcome. Aww. You're so sweet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you saw it right here. We did caramel sauce in like 10 minutes, right, from start to finish. This is how easy it is to make good stuff, to make stuff that you can give to your family and give to your friends and know that it's 100% amazing and actually there are no craziness in there, all right? So stick around. We have some amazing stuff in store for this month. Um, so please make sure you check out the channel. There are tons of stuff already scheduled until the end of the month, pretty much. All right. So yeah, man, I'll see you. Today's Wednesday. So I'll see you next week. All right. Next week, we're going to be doing something yummy again. I think we're doing macaroni and cheese. Ooh, yummy. Yeah, we do macaroni and cheese. Well, the idea I said went in the middle of your kids. You can do Rice Krispies next time. Next, 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 next time. All right? Okay. All right, people. Remember, be great, eat great, cook great. You have to. Otherwise, why do it? You know what I mean? So until next time, I want to thank you for rocking with us. Thank you for doing the caramel with Ed and Ed. All right? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. We're out of here. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Yes, and make sure you make this recipe. Your family is going to love it. You'll never buy caramel sauce again. And that's just what it is. All right? Ciao.